What should you do when you have low blood sugar or hypoglycemia? This is part 4 of the insulin titration series. Low blood sugar is defined as a sugar level less than 70 mg per deciliter or 4 millimoles per liter. This could be dangerous. You must familiarize yourself on its symptoms and first aid management. Communicate with your physician to know what blood sugar level is safe for you. What are the symptoms of low blood sugar? You could have hand or body tremors, weakness, sleepiness or unarousability, sweating, hunger, irritability, dizziness, rapid heart rate, blurring of vision, and sometimes convulsions. The first aid for low blood sugar follows the 1515 rule. These are the steps. First, check your blood sugar if it is low. Second, if it is low, consume food or a drink that has 15 grams of sugar. Third, recheck your blood sugar after 15 minutes. Remember, if the blood sugar is still low, repeat steps 2 and 3. When it is normal, eat a snack. If the blood sugar is persistently low, go to the hospital. Here are some examples of food that contain 15 grams of sugar. Half a glass of juice or regular soft drink, not sugar-free or diet soft drinks. One tablespoon of sugar or honey. Three to four pieces of candy. Just a few reminders in managing low blood sugar. Don't eat excessive amounts of food once your blood sugar becomes normal as you would not want to cause high blood sugar too. Do not take milk as first aid since this will be ineffective in increasing your blood sugar. Chocolate is also not a good first aid food since the fat content prevents rapid absorption of sugar. Also, if the person is unconscious or sleepy, remember these. First, this is a severe case of hypoglycemia. Second, go to the nearest hospital for immediate help. Third, do not force feed an unconscious or sleeping person as this may cause choking. It is important to determine the cause of low blood sugar if it happens. Was a bigger dose of insulin given than needed? Was a person given the right dose of insulin but was not able to eat as much? For those on pre-meal insulin shots, was the interval from insulin injection to meal intake too long? Was the type or duration of exercise different from the usual? Is the person severely ill? If the cause of hypoglycemia cannot be determined, insulin dose adjustment is necessary. If you use insulin glargine, isophane insulin or NPH at bedtime, degludec or detamir, decrease the insulin dose by 10 to 20%. For example, if you use 20 units of insulin glargine at bedtime and your blood sugar is low the following morning, decrease the insulin dose. 20% of 20 units is 4. 20 units less 4 units is equal to 16 units. 16 units will be your new dose of insulin. For those on pre-mixed insulin like biphasic human insulin, biphasic insulin aspart, biphasic insulin lispro, or a combination of insulin deglodec and aspart, if fasting blood sugar is low in the morning, decrease bedtime insulin by 2 to 4 units. If pre-dinner blood sugar is low, decrease pre-breakfast insulin by 2 to 4 units. For example, if fasting blood sugar is low after injecting 20 units of insulin 70-30 the night prior 
and the fasting blood sugar is 65 milligrams per deciliter, do not inject the morning insulin dose. Instead, decrease the nighttime insulin dose by 4 units. 20 units minus 4 units is equal to 16 units. 16 units is a new nighttime insulin dose. Another example, if pre-dinner blood sugar is low after injecting 30 units of pre-mixed insulin 70-30 in the morning, and pre-dinner blood sugar is 65 mg per deciliter, do not inject the pre-dinner insulin. Instead, decrease the next morning dose by 4 units. 30 units minus 4 units is equal to 26 units. 26 units is a new dose for pre-breakfast insulin. If your blood sugar readings are consistently low, contact your doctor. This is a message from the Philippine Society of Endocrinology, Diabetes and Metabolism, PSEDM Diabetes Advocacy and Study Council.